Do you call yourself an emotional eater? If so, listen to this. When people typically think about emotional eating, they think that it's eating when you're sad. However, emotional eating can look like eating when you're bored, when you're stressed, when you're anxious, and it can also be a form of distraction. A lot of people don't know this, but restricting is also a form of emotional eating. Anytime that you use food as a way to distract or numb yourself from what you're feeling is a form of emotional eating. However, not all emotional eating is a bad thing. Sometimes we emotionally eat when we're feeling happy or excited about something, and that is completely normal. Now, I'm not saying it is a bad thing to eat something because you're feeling sad or a certain emotion. However, it's the extent of it and if you're always doing it. Because at some point, you're going to realize that food is not filling that void and you're going to still be left with those emotions. I've had a lot of clients tell me that after they emotionally eat, they end up feeling worse and more guilt and shame because they've eaten past fullness as a result of how they were feeling. So as you can see, emotional eating does lie on a spectrum, and this is why it's super important to have healthy coping skills that you use besides food.